Cristiano Ronaldo will continue to ride his history at Manchester United. We seem to have recovered from that shock and move. And now we are just waiting for miracles from CR7 in a red shirt with number 7. But we haven't talked about another transfer of Manchester United from Juventus. What to expect from Cristiano Jr. in Manchester? Back in the days when Ronaldo Sr. played for the Red Devils, his son was not yet born. Now his dad is returning to the place of his former glory. And where should Cristianina go if not to follow in the steps of his stellar father? Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. has a great future ahead of him. But will it be connected to football? Will the kid manage to have a magnificent career in Manchester United? Or is it just a temporary stop for a couple of seasons? Will the Ronaldo Rooney duo be reborn in a new generation? We are gonna answer all these questions in today's video. But first, let's check. Are you subscribed to our channel? If not yet, be sure to subscribe and smash that like button, as we do our best to present you only the top-notch topics to discuss. Done? Then we proceed to start. First things first, let's remember what Cristiano Jr. already achieved within his football career. It began when his dad was still playing for Real Madrid. The option of sending Cristianinho to the Academy of Marengues seemed logical, but this did not happen. Ronaldo Jr. began his career in the humble club Pozuelo. The team is currently playing in the third division of the Spanish Championship. The Pozuelo Academy is based in the town of Pozuelo de Alarcón, the province of Madrid. And many were surprised when Cristiano Ronaldo wanted to send his son not to the Real Madrid Academy, but to the Academy of the third Spanish division club. But the Portuguese's thoughts were proven to be worth it all. By sending CR Jr. to Pozuelo, he saved him from unnecessary media attention in early childhood also making it easier for the kid's grandmother. The Pozuelo training ground was closer to Ronaldo's house and to the school where Cristianinho studied, so his grandmother Dolores Aveiro felt comfortable taking the boy to training sessions and classes. Someone in the press also mentioned the fact of Cristiano Jr. himself asking to move to Pozuelo, because his friends play there. During his two years spell in Pozuelo, Cristianinho became the school's best scorer. He managed to score 55 goals against his opponents. A cheap of the old block, yeah? After that, Cristiano and his family flew from Madrid to Turin, so Junior changed the scenery to the Juventus Academy. We've talked about Cristiano Junior's unbelievable stats many times in his debut season at Juve. 58 goals and 18 assists in 28 appearances. This is more than two goals per match, and don't forget about the assist. It's just fantastic. At one of the international tournaments, which by the way was held in the homeland of Ronaldo Sr., the Wonder Kid slotted 25 goals in 8 games. What a beast! I would be happy if he became a footballer. He has a passion for this sport, he loves to compete and hates to lose. Ronaldo said in an interview with Dozen. Let's hope that Cristiano's son will succeed further on. Besides, the next stage will be a real test of strength for a youngster. According to the Mirror, Cristiano Jr. followed his father to Manchester United, and the next season he will be involved in action for U12 team. England football academies have always been considered top-ranked in all of Europe. No wonder, the Brits consider themselves the ancestors of football, Man United Academy has raised the coolest players within its walls. And not only for their club, but also for other big teams in Europe. Real living legends of football pass through the youth team of Man United. Remember at least examples of the same Gerard Pique and Paul Pogba. Of course, there is also a great academy in Juventus that works with talented boys, but the level of English schools has always been very, very high. Will Cristianinho cope with the new demands? Now that's a big question. What do you think of that? Write your answer in the comments. We think that nothing can be impossible for Cristiano Ronaldo, even if we talk about Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. From the early years, his father taught him to be ready for every sort of challenges, raised him strictly, and forging his passion for football in every way possible. Cristiano himself grew up in tough conditions, lived in poverty, making himself the star he always wanted to be. His son has a slightly different background to start with. That is why Cristiano tries to properly educate him, using various methods. If Cristiano Jr. really loves football with all his heart and wants to progress, then England is the best place. Here they can make an actual beast out of him, the level of managers and rivals will help the guy to improve his skills and bring them to a brand new level. Yes, possibly his scoring rate will drop a bit, but serious work on himself will help the lad temper his character and conquer the football Olympus. 
Well, if Cristianino succeeds in Manchester United, then his football career can significantly rise up too. And most importantly, the guy will not disappoint his dad. Ronaldo Sr.'s talent just discovered and matured in Man United, letting him win his first Champions League and the first Ballon d'Or with the titles. Although fate may turn out differently. In case the boy turns out to be a mediocre footballer, then the career of Cristiano Jr. may even come to an end here at this club. Junior is now 11, and during these couple of years he may well take the final decision whether he needs football in life or not. At the Man United Academy, Ronaldo Jr. will have to play side by side with other son of the legend of the club and all of English football. It's Wayne Rooney's son, Kai, who trains at the academy. The age gap between Kai Rooney and Sierra Jr. is not that big. Rooney was born in November 2009, whilst Cristianinho in June 2010. That means they have a direct road to the same age team. In the 2000s, Rooney and Ronaldo had a good attacking duo. Now it seems there could be a new, younger one coming. If you're interested in how Rooney Jr.'s football career is going, then we did a separate video about it. Be sure to check it out, how Kai Rooney does some damn good moves there. For example, in a game against Stock City, he managed to score a hat-trick and deliver three more assists afterwards. The kiddo will make an incredible footballer, isn't it? And when Cristiano Jr. joins the same team with his amazing stats, then all the U12 teams in the district will be destined to suffer shameful defeats. How did Man United fans react to this news? They seem to be delighted, and would totally understand why. Cristiano Jr. and Kai Rooney are the future killer duo. Oh my god, have mercy on the kids these mini monsters will play against. The future of Manchester United is very bright. I'll feel very old the moment these two begin performing for United. The Mancunian supporters write on Twitter. Right, we will probably all feel very old when Cristianinho and Kai Rooney make their professional debut. So far, the boys are still far from the main squad, but why not make some noise in the academy? Rooney is already doing a pretty good job there, and Cristianino Jr.'s way still lies ahead. What do you think? Will we be able to witness the success of Cristiano Jr. in Manchester United? Will Rooney and Ronaldo make a terrific duo? We are waiting for your opinions in the comments below. Let's hope that everything will turn out great for Cristianino at Man United, as was the case with his dad. The guy has both talent and desire to play, he just needs to develop his skills day by day. And it was Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.